have a root canal today, but I do think all the numbness has gone in my face, but if my this side of my face is not working like it should, that's why. I had it like early this morning at like 10.15 and it's like 3.30. My mouth is really sore, but hopefully this tooth pain that I've had for like the last mm, six weeks will go away. Uh, not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. I'm not, like the dentist doesn't bother me. Like I know some people really have a hard time with the dentist, I don't but it wasn't terrible. Uh, the Explorer has come over here. We have somebody coming over tonight to look at it, to hopefully sell it. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that we had it. Initially for, we leased some property and we had cows on lease property for a while. We had two different herds. We used that because it was really hilly. It's four wheel drive. And then when we sold that when we got out of that lease. We, I used it to transport the goats when they needed to go to the vet or anything like that. Tink is in heat. Uh, we weren't able to use it. We don't really need it here. Now that Jeremy has four wheel drive in his truck, we bought it before he bought his current truck that has four wheel drive. All that to say, it's getting sold since we're slowly trying to disassemble everything. We did take all the cows to the sale two or three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. I'll stick some pictures in I took of them. I took my camera, but I was so wrapped up in helping getting them in the crowd and that kind of stuff, I just could not film. It went maybe not as smoothly as we would have liked, but they did all get loaded, but Wilbur, Wilbur is still over at the other house. His foot is healing. He's doing better and better. And our hope is that to kind of keep him as long as possible, because it would be nice for him to not go as beef for him to be able to go as a bull. All the cows did really well at the sale. Uh, our Curly did really well, all the calves did great. So that's awesome. And I didn't think about the fact that I get the money from Chief. So that's exciting. I may use that to buy one of those porta huts for the pig, which would be great. See, I don't know why they're all here. Girls! Girls, come on! Come on, goats! Goaty, goaty, goaties! They've been out here most of the day. There's just, I don't like them eating in here because it's so overeaten. And I may, once uh, Wilbur is gone, get that, when I get that charger from the other place to bring here, I might be, may buy another net if I can get a hold of one, and I'll probably just pick anyone and keep them kind of funneled out here and let this rest. I'm afraid we're gonna have a parasite issue. Come on, CC goat! Come on! Come on, babies! Let's come out here. It's gorgeous outside. It's like mid 70s. It was 40 something this morning. It was beautiful. I did not film because I was running a little bit late. I slept in because the dog barked all night long and that was mostly because it was cool and he was happy. Hi, baby girl. You guys actually drank some water today out here. I do. The people don't want to listen to me talk. They want to look at you. How are ya? Mama's good girl. You are so good. You're very underrated. You are. You should be a favorite because you have like really one of the best dispositions. And you have beautiful babies and a gorgeous other. Yeah. You're just not as snuggly. You're not. You kind of like to do your own thing. But you're a good mama goat. You scratch the top of your head. I know you guys don't usually like that. Here is the top mama. How about right there? Yeah. Yeah, is it good? Did you burp in mom's face? Come on, Daisy! You may have to walk out there and check on the way. Is that a tick or just a bump? Let's check. Let's check. We got a little bump on you. That's probably just a zit. Oh, just a little mole. See, that's okay. No, there are no bugs getting you. We don't want bugs to get you. We don't. For the best. Mom left your phone inside. Does it reach out here? No. That's okay. We can have a minute with that other phone. 
We can. She really is one of my favorite does. I don't talk about her as much because she's just not as gregarious and she does kind of, kind of tend to get into some trouble. Don't ya? She's really a sweetheart and a great mom. Has never had trouble kidding. I never have trouble getting her pregnant. I mean, she's just a great little doe. And her babies are always super friendly. She just has such a good chill disposition. But you are the world's worst about escaping. You are. You're kind of my little Houdini. So the cows are gone. Wilbur is still there. I'll try to, we're, we're going over every couple of days and feeding him like half a bag of grain. He's doing well, there's not a lot left to eat over there. And we were talking about kind of depending on how things go by not buying, we have a couple of bales that we could bring from somewhere else out there for him. Since it's just him. The pond is almost like, it's so dried up because of the drought here, guys, it's terrible. I feel so bad for everybody who is having to like dig into their ponds because there's not enough water. Pepperoni, what do you think, buddy? She's funny in that she loves to be pet and snuggled, but like she will not fight for your attention usually with another goat. She wants to be the only one that gets attention. Isn't that right? So I'm sorry I missed last week's video on Friday. Everything was fine. Just lots of like things that were going on and there are some like moving pieces to everything that I am gonna update you guys on eventually. Just not right now. Just not until they're all like kind of done and we were doing some things. Um, my parents were here for three or four days and since the air conditioner, I think I just told you, the air conditioner broke at the little house that they were staying in and since we're selling it and we're not really sure so like that property is under contract right now and we're not really sure if we're gonna keep the house, like be able to sell the house or if they're gonna buy the house. Hi, um, that was gross. The land is under contract, the house is not. And so we didn't really wanna spend the money. The unit needs to be replaced and there are just a lot of things going on with that over there at the moment. Hmm, pepperoni. Do you need to snuggle? You only like snuggles in a very specific way. Do you come over here and push Cece out of the way? Let's see, I might have. And see, she'll walk off. She won't stand here and, and fight. And see how nicely her udder has dried up. Pretty much everybody has dried back up. And I think being in heat and the boys being close have helped with that but I will update you guys on some changes that are happening. Good things, all positive things. Like we weren't sick or anything, everything was fine. There were so many things going on and are you chewing my fingers? I really wanna go over here and sit down, but they're all out there. Root canal today, I have Friday off. So I have today off, which is Wednesday, and then I go back to work tomorrow. Jeremy's taking that day off. It just was weird how it worked out. Then I have Friday off. Our district decided to give us a mental health day. So normally this Friday we have like professional development because there's a festival that's here in town and we can't run our bus routes because of it safely because of the amount of people. And so they just decided that we, instead of having that PD day, that they would give us the day off. So everyone in the whole, whole entire district has the day off. Basically, like focus on our mental health and do anything that we would need to take care of our mental health, which is really exciting. Because if you know anybody that's working in education right now, everybody's a, a bit at the end of their rope, I feel like, with the pandemic and learning loss and mental health and masks and vaccines and illness. And it's just, you guys, it's been a lot. And I know that's pretty much everybody who is in the world at the moment, but I'm excited. They're giving us that day off. The weather is beautiful. Come here, Lee Link. Guys, this goat. Come here, buddy. I wish that you guys could have seen him when he was first born. So he's three. He's Zelda's. He hated me and I did all the right things, which was really frustrating. So I held him all the time when he was a baby. He was the last one born that year. So like he got so much attention because he was kind of born off cycle like a month after everybody and it was just him and he was held and like there was even a family that really wanted him but he wasn't ready to go when they were ready to like pick up all their goats from other people. So they had bought one from us and then one from someone else and so he stayed and I did everything to make him friendly because he was gonna be a weather 
we knew like he was going to be a buddy for our buck that was we were keeping him for that and it didn't work like he just had kind of a weird personality to start with and now I believe he is the friendliest goat that I have like with me he's probably not gonna approach a stranger the way that like the girls would but like neither would pepper for some reason I don't know no I don't like how people will tell you that damn raised babies are not as good uh, as far as like dairy breeds and they're bratty and they're hard to work with I find that that is more goat temperament and if I had a goat that was really bratty and was hard to do anything with I probably wouldn't continue to breed that line for personality sake because you can see that like these all my babies are damn raised and they're all very sweet babies they all have their own personality some of them are a little bit slower to warm up like pixie but pixie milked it is higher legs up but she came in she was easy to train to come in she was not upset with me when we were doing birthing when i was in with her she was totally fine just like padme padme is sometimes slow to warm up sometimes she's very glossy right now and would like all the snuggles are you guys just gonna chew my clothes i'm not chew mom's clothes no i know i love you too you're beautiful so are you Mama loves everybody. And I know that you guys have seen that, but like any of the goats on the property will come up. I don't work with my bucks as much, but I don't want an in-your-face friendly buck because they stink, guys, and they're gross, and they'll headbutt you, deer and rut. I think you do what works for you, and if you like to bottle raise babies, then that's great because I think that's kind of an experience in general. But as long as you're willing to put in the time, any goat can be friendly, obviously. He'll probably sleep in the bed with me if I let him. And hated people four months ago like legit didn't want to be anywhere near anybody ever because he was he because he was raised with bucks and he was raised to not kind of be in your face daisy was a bottle baby and she sometimes is like the hardest to deal with she runs away from you when she knows you have medication and she doesn't like to be pinned and she's just kind of a toot sometimes i love her don't get me wrong the giraffe is one of my favorites but like tinkerbell was the bottle baby she's pretty standoffish poppy not a bottle baby loves to be snuggled and hugged and just and twiz was not a bottle baby we bought her from a couple that damn raised and it's all in your face and hates when you're petting anybody but her if she notices and i kind of like this where they'll come up they want to scratch if you stand there and pet them they're happy but they're not like in your face and i don't think people realize that like with goats when you're trying to do something for them or anything in their pen if they have to be on top of you all the time which is kind of how bottle babies are it is kind of annoying and frustrating and they'll jump on you and they have hooves and it's not like your doggo you wouldn't want your doggo to jump on you would you link you want good goat behavior any goat can be tamed and be friendly he's so sweet but those are the things that have been going on i'm trying so hard to put out two videos a week for you guys i want to i love it I'm reading all your comments all the time, but there are just so many things and probably it's gonna be super busy. I'm hopeful we do have a couple of things like in stages that will get done. I do think October is gonna be a busy month and we may miss a video here and there because I'm gonna have to travel some. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out for a minute and enjoy my day. I kind of like have a headache and my mouth is really sore, but I'm hopeful that in a couple of days, all this tooth pain I've been dealing with will be done. I know, it's not good enough, is it? about 48 degrees this morning. Cold enough for hoodies and pants and hats. I was looking for my hat that Kate made me and I find it this morning. My guess is I washed it and I put it up. This ratty one, it's left outside. Hard to beat Carhartt, but Kate's is a little bit warmer. Good morning. 
Good morning, friends. Ugh, it's Friday. Well, it's Thursday, but it's my Friday this week. So let's get you fed, guys. here a little bit earlier or later than normal sorry Jeremy's off today he took a day off to take care of some errands <clears throat> have a day off we just couldn't manage to end up with the same day off I was off yesterday <clears throat> and I'm off tomorrow he needed to be off today the thing that he needed to take care of was today he had an appointment and so I'm out here a little bit later because I'm not getting him ready to go to work and I'm hoping to see some of our deer today that we've been seeing good morning pork choppy chops what for breakfast? Look at that handsome thing. <laughs> cold that's why they're shaking they're fine I have noticed that Luke tends to shake when it gets a little chilly outside he's totally fine not not really anything that I worry about especially with these kind of dramatic temperature drops we're more worried about them having pneumonia but it hasn't been like wet it's been very dry very dry shift so we shouldn't have any issues we are you know just kind of keeping it keeping an eye all the courting this group has been doing the last couple of days they feel fine i promise you yeah. and they've been eating well and we have i have given them a little bit of extra food to start training them to go in at night i didn't show you chores last night because we had somebody come um by the explorer um, i have been feeding them a little bit extra because the full room and will keep them warm it's very foggy this morning but it also has helped giving them just like a little bit of a scoop of grain at night. They're going right in and waiting on me to bring them a snack, which works out really well. Good morning, let's get your gates open. The water is already down there. They've only been drinking so like the shift from 90 every day to 75. They drink about maybe a gallon of water a day compared to the like six to eight they were drinking. All right, crew, let's have a good day. Mama will see you when she gets home from work, okay? 